Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz, five rounds. And, okay, let's let's split this up. Let's split it up between the first four rounds and the fifth round. If we're looking at those first four rounds, Leon Edwards put on a damn near perfect showing, and he looked like he might be one of the next guys built to contend for Kamar Usman's belt. Um, yeah, I mean, the first four rounds he did well. He he mm-hmm. he, he was clean. Um, but again, like, I think this was a showcase, right? Like, he needed to do something that proved to Dana, to the world, like, I'm an interesting guy. Yeah. And in all honesty, like, Nate was the interesting guy by far. Well, if you look at how the payment went down, too, Nate was definitely in the draw. Nate made over a million off this fight. Leon Woods with about 200000 Yeah. I mean, and that's enough said. Uh, <laughs> Nate Nate does things outside of the fight, inside of the fight. I mean, the taunting, the, you know, the flipping off, the mm-hmm. showing his butt, turning his back, hilarious. Grabbing um, his... <laughs> yeah, like it's... <laughs> Uh, uh, Leon, credit to credit where credit's due. He he did win. Mm-hmm. He had a pretty, for the most part, four out of five rounds impressive performance. But man, that that near KO in the fifth round, dude, the Stockton slap combo, round. baby. Once again, it, it, it strikes like again, man. Taste in your mouth, you know, like that's it's not a that's like one of those games, bro, where you're smoking a team like seven zero, mm-hmm. and then they score like five six goals, and you barely win by one goal. And then you're kind of just like, ugh. Like, they scored all the last goals, and that's all you remember. Yeah. And so it kind of sucks for Leon because now he's in a weird spot. Like, I think the only fight Leon can really call for right now is is a game-bred fight. Mm-hmm. And it's unfortunate for him because that's a step down seemingly in competition, too. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, he needs an impressive performance. He has he does. not had an impressive – he needs a knockout. He needs a submission. He needs something. He's a highlight on his resume that people can point to and say, okay, this dude's legit. This mm-hmm. dude has garnered my interest and he is, you know, he is keeping me intrigued. Other than, you know, him actually fighting, there's nothing that pops out on the on the screen for me with Leon. There's and always been like something like a holding him back because that he return fight against Bal Muhammad, he looked good in the first round, but then he poked the eye and yep. then you just don't know. He looked good in four rounds against St. Diaz. But then he got rocked, and if it wasn't for Nate Diaz wanting to taunt and I almost not caring, man, if he pushed the pressure, he could, he probably could have gone the knockout, which was kind of annoying that he just stayed back, and mm, that bugged me uh, a little bit. Uh, but once again, you have four really good rounds, but you almost get knocked out by Nate Diaz. So I'm not sure what to think of Leon Edwards at this point. I think he just is going to keep having to rack up the wins. I mean, eventually he's either going to fall or do something impressive and get the, get the shot. Cause I mean, Colby, sh- Colby should get the next shot. It was the most mm-hmm. entertaining fight. That's the fight that most of the people want to see mm-hmm. uh, from, from what I've seen on Twitter and, and other avenues of the internet. Yeah. Leon Edwards, if he fights another guy and beats him, he's still going to be this number two contender. Like there's, there's no one that's really going to jump that line unless they have like uh, a wonder boy Thompson or a Gilbert Burns does something absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. So it's really, it's it's all in Leon Edwards' control. He just has to make it happen. Yeah, that's fair. It is up to Leon Edwards whether he really wants to make that jump and really make it pop. 